What's up everyone? I'm back. <laughs> It's the same day, same time, it's a different video. So we're gonna go through a pails and rails in elevated pigeon stretch. So first, you're gonna to have to, shit! The floor is slippery, slippery and hard. One more important thing, make sure you square your hips so your hips are not tilting laterally. To get into a position where you can passively drive your knee to the uh, platform. So what you don't want is to have your knee elevated like this because after the passive stretch we will have to generate some force and if there's nothing to push against that means we're just putting too much stress on that particular angle. So what you want to do, you want to make sure the surface you're using is kind of high enough for you to just be able to rest this knee, this elevated knee on, the, on a platform and push into it. We will keep your chest upright, so make sure you feel the stretch in around your medial glutes in uh, basically your open angle, uh, which in this case is at the very bottom. You, you will feel it. You wanna create a 90 degree angle from your ankle, knee, and your hip. So no necessarily knee to hip, but you can around 90 degrees, because sometimes, you know, some people just don't have the flexibility. However, as close to 90 degree as possible. So we're gonna need two dowels. We're gonna keep your chest upright. We're gonna hold this position. We're gonna hold this for up approximately two to three minutes. And we're gonna focus on diaphragm diaphragmatic breathing. <laughs> I need to still learn how to pronounce that word. We will ex inhale on five seconds. And then we're gonna exhale on eight seconds. I'm not gonna be able to do that while talking. You do it. Okay, so two minutes is up, for, for example. Be generating force through pushing your knee into the platform. Again, we will build up the intensity for as, as high as needed, as high as prescribed. But make sure you don't go from zero to 100, you go from zero to 10, to 20, to 30. You know, you build up the intensity. Even if it might take you 30 seconds to build up the intensity up to 70, 80% of uh, kind of like your, your effort. So let's say you've done 80% effort, you're pushing your dowels into the ground, you're squeezing your core, you're squeezing your glutes, you're pushing your knee into the platform, you, everything is irradiating, everything is engaging, your whole body, almost 100% but not quite. We are holding this position for 15 more seconds in this, in this kind of level. And then afterwards we will slowly relax. I'm gonna try and externally Rotate your foot, you won't make it, you won't, it's just, some people might fucking do it, I don't know who, we want to see this, but you were thinking that you're driving that foot in externally, or that hip externally. So we're again doing the same thing, we're irradiating up to 50, 70, whatever um, intensity is prescribed. We're holding it for 15 seconds, squeezing everything in your body, your glutes, your core, your hands, your biceps, your back, 15 seconds gone. Relax. And again, we're gonna try and get in a deeper stretch, maybe by trying to have that extension and leaning slightly forwards, but keep that knee at the front pushed onto the platform. And repeat, repeat, we repeat this for two to four rounds. Again, this is not what you should um, kind of follow up. It's whatever you should, you should be prescribed for. And um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you have any more questions. Peace out.